Hey guys, welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory. As you can see, the last few results have been a little bit inconsistent, haven't they? Draw, draw, win, loss, and then going back into November, it was, well, I guess marginally better because of a 5-0 win, but other than a 4-2 win, it was a draw and a loss. You know, it's, it's been a very inconsistent few weeks. I'm hoping in today's episode against Huddersfield, Reading, and QPR... We can do some damage. If we can get nine points from nine, that would be incredible. And then it is time for the FA Cup round three and the transfer window. So I'm really excited. We got very lucky, actually. You can see here we avoided Manchester United, West Ham, um, Watford, I guess, would have been a tricky one. We've avoided Arsenal, Man City, Fulham, Norwich could have been a tough one as well. Leeds, Leicester. We really have got quite lucky here. There are some other ones as well. Chelsea, for example, another team that we've avoided. Uh, Everton. This could have been bad. Liverpool as well. So thankfully, we did get quite lucky there and um, we should be making it through. But let's jump into the first game of the episode. It is Huddersfield. We're at home. They're in 15th place. It shouldn't be an issue. I'm hoping anyway. By the way, guys, a massive thank you to everyone who joined the Discord tweeted at me left a comment in the video yesterday we're talking about day of course lately and whether or not we should be selling him I think the general idea is because it's not my fault it's a bit of a glitch at the moment that I can't give him a new contract that he's unhappy with the contract I I well it's as if I didn't give him one even though I did um that I should keep him so I guess for now I will keep him but I should give you guys a warning I will sell some of my best players if big offers come in because I want this to be super realistic in some ways obviously we're in here go on hog oh okay we've scored straight away and it's hog again this guy has been on fire lately by the way you can probably see there's a collar on the kit basically because I updated FIFA it broke a few of my mods so we're in the process of fixing them it's so annoying when they update the game because a lot of the mods are therefore not the latest build so yeah, thank you again, as I said, to everyone who's giving me feedback. This series is meant to be as fun as possible, but also I want it to be realistic. I don't want to be holding on to a player that in reality would leave, okay? Now, I think at this point in time, I think Day would stay. I think he'd stay the season and see if we get promoted. So maybe in the summer we can rethink. But for now, Day will be staying. Here's Wilkes now. Go on the inside. Okay, that was a good tackle from the CPU, but we've kept it. And now we're in again. It's Cummings. And he's not scored. Wow. What an opportunity for the youngster to score there. I'm going to take this short and then cross it. Oh, go on. Oh, my God. Rogers completely unmarked. And it's 2-0 already. Well, that wasn't meant to happen, was it? Sometimes I find a normal cross is more accurate than a cross from a corner. So passing it short and then whipping it in can work and I'm pretty sure he's just handballed it okay let's have a little look at the replay here no it's come off his head for a second it looked like he um hit it with his right hand but it's 2-0 after 17 minutes yeah I can see why Huddersfield are down in 15th they don't look too good at the moment here is Yaya Sonogo by the way last time we played Huddersfield I had no idea that they signed the legend Yaya Sonogo from Arsenal, the ex-Arsenal player, who actually has a hat-trick for Arsenal. Who remembers that? I remember when Sonogo joined and I thought, oh, Arsene Wenger, he's done it again. He's found an absolute gem, a young French striker that's going to tear everyone apart. But yeah, that didn't quite work out. Oh, that was close. Let's give that to Minoga here. Go on, Rogers. On the end of that. Oh, that was close. So, yeah, I wonder if Sonogo is going to cause any damage in this game. He is actually not a terrible, terrible player. I think the championship maybe suits him. I think that's probably his level, isn't it? They could actually have a shot here. Will it be their first attempt on goal? It is. Yaya Sonogo with a header straight to Dyson. And I think that's the first time he's properly been involved in the second half here. I reckon one more goal and we will definitely be good. I don't, I don't think we're going to lose, though, to be fair. Even if it stays 2-0, I would love a third, though. Here's Rogers into Hog. Thought about giving it back to Rogers, but hang on. Chalaba's made a run. I'm not going to be able to get it to him. Let's give it to Cummings instead. What can he do from here? Go on. Why not? 
Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what he'll do. Just hit it straight against the defender. Oh, no. No, no, no. We don't concede. That's going to be a foul as well, isn't it? Not a great start to the second half here. I mean, they could easily score from this. I doubt it, though. I've said it before. The CPU doesn't really do well from free kicks in that kind of area. Oh, no. Oh, what on day. That is why we're keeping him. He is superb. He's so good. He set us up on the attack here. Wilkes. I'm going to give this to Holt. Look at the space he's got. Go on, Holt. This is for you. Actually, no. I'm just going to give it to Rogers. Guarantee the goal, right? You've got to guarantee it. 3-0. And that is a wrap. There is literally no point in playing this one anymore. 30 minutes left. We have absolutely annihilated Huddersfield. So we're going to go ahead and jump to result here. Can we keep the clean sheet? Yes, we can. It's two goals for Rodgers and one for Hogg. No substitutions. Thank you. That is so helpful. Well, as you guys know, in the last episode, I scouted De La Cruz, not because I want to sign him, but because I want to see how high rated he is. 81. Look at his stats. This is why Brighton are dominating the league. They're doing so well. What a player to have on the team. Unbelievable. No wonder they're doing so well. But anyway, next game. Reading away from home. They're in ninth place. You never know what could happen here. Thankfully, Birmingham dropped points. And I believe Norwich got a draw, maybe. So now we're actually up into fifth place. But we are four points behind Watford. So... Yeah, we, we need to keep winning if we want to stay here. But if I want to chase the guys at the top, which I, I don't really think we can do, we will have to keep winning. So let's see how we get on against Reading. Quite a few tired players. Chalabur and Minoga coming out, as well as Robinson. Curtis will play on the left. I'm actually thinking of putting in Stevenson at Cam. I mean, Watmore was just in the news saying that he's frustrated about not playing. So we'll give him a game. Why not? I'm quite tempted to start Hunter as well. And maybe bring Rogers on as a second half impact sub. I'm also wondering about Nelson. It might be worth bringing someone else in. We could go with Big Johnny. Um, I don't know. Do I want to do that? Not really. I'll have him on the bench though. Big Johnny can make an impact as a sub as well. So this is the team we're going to go with. Udabajo at right back as well. But I'm going to I'm going to keep Holt in there. Reading have some absolutely fantastic players in their squad. So this isn't going to be. As easy as you might think. You know, ninth place. They're not doing too bad, but Elise's in there. I actually signed Elise in a football manager career I was doing not too long ago. I signed him at Leicester and he was incredible. I'm wondering if he can translate that into FIFA as well. Hopefully not. We kind of need him to have a bad game. Giving away a free kick here, 30 yards out. Surely he's not going to shoot. There's no way you beat Dyson from there. I mean, especially if you don't get it on target either. Let's go down this right side if we can. Oh, God. That's another good player. Ajaria. He is very decent. Here's Wilkes now. I'm glad he could start this game. He's been in good form recently. Stevenson in too close. Oh, wow. Very good tackle from the midfielder there. By the way, Swift as well. Up front for QPR. At least, is he up front or is he a cam? I'm not 100% sure. He has four goals in his last three games. So... He is definitely one to watch out for. He could do some damage against us. Go on, Nelson. Look at him go. Absolutely incredible young player. Here's Wilkes. Inside to Hunter. Wait, what? I didn't leave the ball on purpose. Why are you leaving the ball? I could have just turned and, and kept the play going there. Damn. And now we could be in trouble. Oh, it's a good ball. No. Oh, what a save. Dyson. That is why he is my starting goalkeeper. He's so good. He really is. They've taken the corner short. They're not going to cross it from there. Oh, wow. That's really nice play. They've been good so far, Reading. They really have. Is he going to cross it now? Nope. Maybe now? Nope. Maybe now? Yep, there goes the cross, and it's straight to the keeper. What a ball. Curtis, you legend. Straight into Wilkes. Going with the Berber spin and I've just lost it. Oh my god. Skill moves just don't work very well sometimes. I think online against a human opposition, maybe that would work a little bit better. The CPU, it, it just feels like they read you. It's so easy for them. Oh, this is bad. Okay, he didn't cross it. Why wouldn't you cross it there? Please, EA, fix it. I want to defend more crosses. Honestly, they probably would have scored. Oh my god, Stevenson, you're too weak. 
He just gets blown over in the wind. It's ridiculous. He's not having a good game. I'm not having a good game. No surprises there. One minute of added time. Can we get forward one last time before the break? Try and get Hunter in behind, maybe? Oh, go on. Nah, the keeper's going to get that. Okay, really tough first half. I'm surprised we're not losing. So, I guess that's a positive, actually. It's still nil-nil. We're in the game. Well done, Nelson. Skips past one. Just going to keep going here. Okay, now we find Hunter. On that left foot. Go on. Oh, so close. I thought it was him. I was about to celebrate. It was a lovely first touch, wasn't it? It's a good strike as well. Not enough power on it to maybe get the curve you want, but... Well, the curve I wanted, but still. Decent attempt. Good start to the second half. Oh, they've done me there. That's 1-0. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to stop that. Damn it. I was just saying good start, and then... Yeah, we've conceded just a minute later. Okay, focus. Let's just get back in this. It might be time for Rogers to come on shortly. And I will play Hunter as a cam because... Yeah, Stevenson hasn't had the best game, although that's a good ball over to Curtis. Go on, do something here, Curtis. This is good. Into Hunter. Go on, with your right foot. Oh, probably shouldn't have gone with the, gone with the shot there. There we go. That's a good ball. Curtis, you've got another chance here to drive forward. Haven't been able to get the changes on yet. Make the most of it before they come on. Oh, how's he done that? How the hell has Wilkes... Managed to score that. I have no idea. I was genuinely shocked that went in. I wasn't expecting it. Wilkes is not an elite striker with that right foot. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting that to go in. Fair play to him. And to be fair, I'm probably going to have to take him off soon. Big Johnny and Rogers are coming on. And actually, yeah, I'm going to bring on Gale. I think it's time. Let's do it. By the way, I, I realised that the minus eight doesn't really mean anything because he isn't actually losing minus eight on his stats. I think the game is just telling me that he isn't very good as a central midfielder. You know, he's better as a CDM, but who cares, right? If it's just a visual thing, his sharpness is not too bad. His um, his fitness is, is pretty decent as well. So he's going to be fine in that midfield role, but I'm going to miss Nelson. He's so good. Oh, come on. What more? Where are you? Why is Day having to bail you out? I'll oh, come off it. There's no way. Oh, he's hit his own player. <laughs> Unlucky. You didn't deserve that chance anyway with all the bounces. Come on then, Big Johnny. Show me what you've got. He's going to get forward here. Oh, imagine if he scores a banger. Oh, that's a shame. Straight at the defender. There's about 10 minutes left, including injury time. I reckon a one or draw is a pretty fair result, although it wouldn't surprise me if we concede a stupid goal. Well done, Johnny. He's picked it up again. Play it on the right to Gale. Into Rogers. This is pretty much his first time on the ball. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Finish it. No way. There's no... We don't deserve that. We do not deserve to be winning this game. But of course, you know what comes next. But I'll take it. Thank you very much. Close has been scoring a lot of late goals lately. He got us a winner in the last episode with a... a literally a last second header... This isn't quite the same. There's still a few minutes to play. But what a finish. He's a great player. He really is. That is why he still plays. He still gets in the side. But will Reading have time to get an equaliser? Oh, my God. They are just getting pooed on by EA right now. <laughs> and it could get worse. It is going to get worse. Come on, Curtis. You've got to score this. Finish it. Yeah, there we go. Man, I feel bad. I feel really bad for Reading. They've been great today. They don't deserve to be losing 3-1, but this is what happens when you don't take your chances. You know, they could have easily scored a few goals in this game. And we have. I think we've had maybe four or five shots on target, and we've scored three. So I guess we deserve to win. We took our chances. We were way more clinical. Up next is QPR, and they are 23rd in the league. So you could argue a match sim will win this game. But I'm going to play it. We're going to play against this QPR side that actually, I don't think are that bad. They've got some good players in there. Clearly just not having a great season. Galloway comes in at left back to replace Holt. We've got Big Johnny starting as well. Cummings on that left side. This is the team we're going to use. Come on, lads. Oh, my God. We just got so lucky there. That was jammy. Now here goes Cummings. Come on. Let's go, son. Let's go. 
Far right side, we've got Wilkes. We've got Rogers making a run on the inside. I'm going to go alone here for a second. Now put it through for Hogg. Can he finish it? Of course he can. He's so good. He made Stevenson look rubbish. When I played Stevenson in the last game, honestly, I missed Hogg so much. And that's when you know you've got a really, really good player on your hands. When you miss them when they're not playing, he is just superb. I would actually go ahead and say right now that Hogg is my best player. I know Rogers has been superb. I know Cummings is a great young player and Nelson's doing great. But honestly, Hogg is unreal. Uh, okay. Um, we're not going to watch that. Yeah, that's what you call problems defensively. Uh, could not switch to the right defender. And literally, that's their first time they've even remotely had a sniff of scoring. Oh, my God, that was terrible. Okay, back to square one. It's fine. Nil-nil. Oh, go on, Chalaba. Nicely done from him. Inside to Hogg. Little one-two with Rogers, maybe? Nope. Not going to be able to get the return pass. And Rogers has lost it. Oh, dear. Another chance breaks down. Come on, big Johnny. Get a tackle in. I tell you what. He's not great. <laughs> His, his actual, you know, tackling is poor. He's just a big dude, you know. He's, he's a bit of a brute. That's a lovely pass, though. Look at that. Never mind. I take it back. He's one of the best players we've got. Wilkes with the cross for Rodgers. And that is a brilliant clearance from Dickey there. Let's get the corner in. Taken by Wilkes. Day is there, but it's headed by Matterson. Ma Masterson, not Matterson. Here's Cummings now. Go on. Oh, wow. Never mind. Ignore that. That didn't happen. Well, that's not a good idea to slide in, Matt. Come off it. Oh, no. What? Dyson. No, nah, Dyson. You didn't just do that. How are you not saving that? Why did I slide in? Why did I do that? What a header this is. Actually, no, it's not. It's not a good header. It's straight at the keeper. What is wrong with Dyson? He's literally moved out of the way. Oh, wow. Somehow, after having two attempts on target, they're 2-1 up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe this is a bit of karma for the Reading result. We were awful but still managed to win. Maybe the opposite's happening. Look at this. What is going on now? I can't do anything. Thankfully, the referee's blown the whistle there. Well done, Wilkes. Goes around Carroll. Go on, Hogg. Get in behind. Go on, son. Oh, my God. That was close. The pass itself wasn't great, though, was it? It didn't help him at all. Let's see if we can build this attack back up. Wilkes into Hogg. Onto the left foot. On the inside. On his right foot. Oh, he's almost got, got us back in the game. Oh, he's so good. He's so, so good. Let's get a corner in now. Day's going to be there. And Day wins the header, but it's wide. What a ball. No. Go on, Hogg. <laughs> I mean, I know you want to score, dude. But um, <laughs> knocking the goalkeeper while holding the ball into the net is probably not going to count. By the way, I've made a sub. We've got two subs, actually. Close and Gale have both came on. Gale, I haven't used enough, so I'm interested to see... How he gets on. Good bit of play from him here. But we're going to run out of space, I think. We'll have to turn. Give that to Minoga. Back to Gale, who's in an offside position, Matt. So that's that's smart. Done it again. I've done it again. Stupid slide tackles, Matt. Right, we've got it. Chip that one out. Win the header. Nice. Oh, no. Not nice. We're giving it straight away. Back to QPR. There we go. We've got it. This time, we make this count. On the left side for Cummings. Oh, please get there. Yeah, he will. It's fine. Now just run, 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 run. Hogg's getting in the box. Rogers is getting in the box. Gale's back post, but Rogers is there. He's onside, and it's 2-all. Late drama FC. Again, what's going to happen in the next seven minutes of normal time? I don't know. I don't know, but right now, all I care about is getting the ball back. Getting on another attack. Come on. Well done, Hogg. He's won it back. Gale has been superb since coming on. I really should be using him more. It's just difficult to get him in the team when you've got Wilkes playing so well, you know? 
is close. Over to Cummings. Is it his moment? Oh, it almost was. It almost was his moment. That was going in, wasn't it? Let's have a look on the replay. One touch. That's going in. And that is a wonder strike. Here comes the corner. We're going to go ahead and take this one short again. With Hogg. Whipping it in for Robinson to volley. But I don't think that was ever going to be causing any real danger for QPR. We've won it back. This is going to be it, guys. Final chance of the game. I don't know where to go with this. Give it to... Okay, we'll give it to Hogg, not close. We'll give it back now. No, okay, we're going to give it to Chalibur. But this is good. Driving forward. Here's Rogers. Come on. Not, not again. Surely not again. Close. Into the box. Oh, no. He couldn't reach it. Six minutes of added time. There's no way we're going to get another chance. Jeez, what a game. A two-all draw. I, I, I guess it's not too bad. Let's face the media. Portsmouth are unbeaten so far since the start of the... S really? Really? I don't get it, man, but whatever. We're looking stronger and stronger. Next question. Was that a game you could have lost today? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I was pleased to get the draw, to be honest. I don't know what was happening. At some points in those game, in that game, I was doing so much better and, and deserved to be winning. I, I don't know what happened, really. Are you frustrated not to have won the game? Um, I mean, football isn't always predictable. Let's go with that. Okay, so the window is about to open in one day. Let's just go ahead and say, I'm proud of you to Ben Close, and then go back to the inbox. So we've got an offer for Harrison. Now, the problem is, okay... He will not sign a new contract and he's only got six months and one day left on his deal. So he can go for free. He's over 23 years old. So the right thing to do is accept this and just take the money. The offers we've been getting have been from random clubs, really. This time, I believe that's a Turkish club. Alanya Spor. I, I don't know if I've said that right. I, I'm just going to have to accept it. I don't really want to sell him, but we're going to lose... Potentially 1.2 million if we don't accept it. So, yeah, I think we accept it. I'm really, really down about that. I did not want to sell him yet. We've only had him for 18 months, but it is the right thing to do. The question is, will it go through before an offer comes in where he can just sign it? You know, let's see. Um, yeah, there you go. He's become a free, a free transfer to anyone. We'll see what happens. Ajax have offered me a player. I believe that's a central midfielder, isn't it? Yeah, 75 rated midfielder plus £760,000 rejected. I might be able to offer him a new contract now, potentially. So we'll give that a go. And then we've got my uh, youth squad monthly report. Faulkner is 61 rated now. Do you know what? Maybe next season it will actually be time to bring him in. Potentially, he could be a really good option for us when someone like Raggett leaves. Um, who else do we have? We have a few other centre-backs that potentially could be gone next season. Let me just double-check who we've got. So I know we've got Brown as well, haven't we? And Raggett. Yeah, so it might be worth waiting and then bringing him, in, him into the squad next season. Uh, let me go ahead and attempt to give uh, Day a new contract. And it's a no. You have recently negotiated a contract with this player. It's not going to work. Unfortunately, guys, I think it's going to be a case of just waiting until next season. There's nothing I can do. I'm not going to sell him. It doesn't make sense to sell him when it's not really my fault. And also, would you sell a top player when you're trying to get promotion? You know, we're actually doing better than I thought we would be. We're in that top six. So... We'll see what happens. But for now, guys, that will be the end of this episode. The window is open. Let me know if there's any players you want me to take a look at, any players you want me to sell. And we'll be back on Monday with the window actually in progress.